Today I'm going to be reading a story called What Games Shall We Play by Pat Hutchins. This week we're talking about story structure, so we're talking about the characters and the setting. The characters are the people, animals, or creatures in the story. The setting is where and when the story takes place. Problem and solution. The problem is a challenge or conflict the main character faces. The solution is how the problem gets solved. This week we're going to be working on these four traits inside of our story. So let's get right into the story. Hope you enjoy. Duck and Frog went out to play. What game shall we play, X Duck? I don't know, said Frog. Let's go and X Fox. So now we're starting our adventure with our characters. Remember, you're going to be taking note of the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution in the story as I read. So off they went to look for Fox. Duck looked across the fields, but he wasn't there. Frog looked among the tall grass. So who are we looking for? What characters have we came in contact with? We know about Duck and Frog, and they're looking for Fox. Do you see Fox? Sometimes you can look very closely at the pictures and it helps you make predictions. And there he was. What game shall we play, Fox? They asked. I don't know, said Fox. Let's go and ask Mouse. So off they went to look for Mouse. Duck looked over the wall, but Mouse wasn't there. Frog looked under the wall, but she wasn't there either. So Fox looked in the wall. Hmm, I think that's a good thing that Fox is going to look in the wall for Mouse. Do mouses live in walls? And there she was. What game shall we play, Mouse? They asked. What do you think Mouse is going to say? Think she knows? I don't know, said Mouse. Let's go and ask Rabbit. So off they went to look for Rabbit. Duck looked near his hole. Frog looked on top of the hole. Fox looked around the hole. And Mouse looked in the hole. Hmm. Is Rabbit in the hole? And there he was. What? Game shall we play, Rabbit? They asked. I don't know, said Rabbit. Let's go and ask Squirrel. So off they went to look for Squirrel. Duck looked behind the tree. Frog looked in front of the tree. Fox looked up to the top of the tree. And Mouse looked under the tree. Hmm. And Rabbit looked through the leaves of the tree. Do you think Squirrel is there? Hmm. So we're going to stop here and talk about the setting. So the setting is when and where the story takes place. So when? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Is it summer, spring, fall, winter? very bright outside so I think it might be daytime or maybe morning what about our season we know it's not fall or winter hmm how do I know it's not fall look at my leaves on the trees very bright so we can think about it might be spring or it might be summer so let's see if rabbit is in this tree and there she was. What game shall we play, Squirrel? They asked. I don't know, said Squirrel. Let's find out and ask him. 
You think I was gonna know what game to play? But Al found them first. What game shall we play, Al? They asked. Hide and seek, said Al. Yay! And while Al closed his eyes, duck and frog hid in the pond, fox hid in the long grass, mouse hid in the wall, rabbit hid in the hole, and squirrel hid in the leaves of the tree. Then Al went to look for them. The end. So hopefully you took notes on the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution. So we're going to talk about the problem and solution right after this story. And we also could have wrote our own story about what game would we have played. We could have played kickball, baseball, soccer. What other games could we have played? That's something else we can talk about. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed reading it.